All right. Here's an alkoxide ion, so an ion where it's like hydroxide, but you've got an alkyl group of some some type bonded to the oxygen instead of uh, an H. So figure out if there are any lone pairs that are not shown, and see if you can draw a resonance form for this molecule. Okay, you're back. Again, negatively charged oxygen with one covalent bond. That's got to mean three lone pairs. Were you able to draw a resonance form? I hope not. There is a trivial resonance form. The trivial resonance form is any pi bond. You can move the electrons. Sorry. All right, you can move the pi electrons to one of the two atoms, and you have a plus and a minus, net charge is zero. Uh, the net charge is the same. Uh, that's not a very important resonance form. It doesn't really explain the, the chemistry of a carbon-carbon double bond. Uh, you can also do this to where they're radicals. You can move one electron to each, right? That would be a resonance form. You could move the charge the other direction. Did that for that arrow, so minus and plus on both of them. But in fact, uh, those aren't very important. There's no way to delocalize this charge. This charge is localized on the oxygen. There's no way for these lone pairs to push down. This carbon already has, the carbon the oxygen's bonded to has eight electrons already. It's got four single bonds. So it can't accept another bond. There's no way to get this charge into here. You'd have to make a bond between the oxygen and these carbons. Your connectivity would change. So there is really no good other resonance form for this.